and welcome to Reckless Journal number two. If you missed the first video in this series, then I will put the link in the description box below for you and also in this iCard. Also, I had a Reckless Journal giveaway going on, so stay tuned to the end to see who won. In my next Reckless Journal video, I wanna do another giveaway, so let me know in the comment section below what I should give away. Should I give away more journals, things to decorate the journals with, just random stuff? And last thing, let's try to get this video to 10,000 thumbs ups if you enjoy of course and subscribe to my channel if you have not yet to join the family i post two videos every single week and i have a breakfast journal series going on of course that is what you are here to see so let's get into it in the previous video, someone suggested in the comment section that I do the page where it says to write or scribble on the edges of the book because in the future when the book gets more ruined, all the pages are going to be spread out and it'll be harder to do this. So I am taking your suggestion and I'm doing it right now. I'm doing something really simple but very colorful. I'm just taking Crayola markers and I am making a rainbow of colors going from yellow to green and just basically drawing on the pages. It's as simple as it gets but I do think that it looks very pretty and then on the other side the long end of the book I am writing a little quote you can see here I put to create is to live that's something that has a lot of meaning in my life so I feel that it's very fitting for my personal breakfast journal and on the top of the book, I decided to do a few different pinks and then draw stars with gray marker and make it look wish-like or magical. Also, the black marker actually smells like vanilla, so when I was flipping through the pages like this, it smelled wonderful. I don't know how long the scent's going to last for, but I hope it lasts for a while. So when I work on the journal, I just smell the aroma of vanilla. Next, I am going to bring the book in the shower with me. This is gonna be a lot of fun. It's also kind of nerve wracking because I don't wanna ruin the entire book, but I also want to do what it says. So we're gonna have to compromise a little. I decided to wrap the book in saran wrap and clear tape just to protect all the other pages. And I just left these two pages out in the open. So these are the only two that will get wet. This was also a suggestion in the comment section of my last video. You guys know me well that I didn't want to ruin the entire book with water. I didn't show the actual process of me drawing, but I just did a really simple drip effect with different colors of washable Crayola markers. It's really important that you use washable markers for this page if you want it to drip, because if you use Sharpies, then water won't do anything to it, or not much anyway. One of my pet peeves is wet clothing, so this part was not fun for me after I came out. The feeling of wet fabric against skin is not a nice one. I didn't keep the book under the water for too long, but it did drip and it looked pretty cool. And then I used my blow dryer to dry off the pages quicker. I carefully cut off the plastic from both the front and the back and None of the pages really got ruined, just a little bit in the bottom corner. So every page in my book from now on will have a little yellow-orangey marker tint in the corner, but it's not really a big deal. It gives the book a little bit of character, and then every time I do a page, I'll be reminded of my shower adventure with my book. Also, I had tried to write a message with white crayon, and then I was hoping that when I took the book in the shower, it would be revealed, like the wax resist method when you do watercolor painting. It didn't work out, but I have a quote on there that says something like, you can't have a rainbow without a little rain. So I thought it was very fitting. I thought about maybe painting over it, but I like the way it looks, so I'm just gonna leave it like this, and I'll just know that that message is there, even though you can't really see it. Now I'm gonna move on to the page that says, cover this page using only office supplies. I got out all of my colorful post-it notes and highlighters, a hole punch, scotch tape, Elmer's glue, and a bunch of pens and markers.
I started off by using these little post-its to make a kind of staircase on the page and after that I put a heart post-it note and I just glued those on. I also had a cat post-it note or like little notepad so I put that paper on there. Then I used a hole punch to create a design in a different post-it note. I glued the circles on. I used a pen to make a little design around the heart and also other places on the page. And then I took a mini stapler and I made kind of like a starry snowflake in that top corner. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. I just used lots of lines and dots all over in different colors. But I think it turned out very colorful and I've never seen a page exactly like this even though a ton of people have of course put post-it notes on their pages. None of them are exactly alike. I want to let you guys know that I'm having a mini giveaway! I was at Michael's shopping yesterday and I found these unicorn washi tapes and stickers. So I am giving away these things along with a roll of unicorn duct tape. All you have to do is of course be subscribed to my channel. And then I'm going to have you go to my polymer clay cupcake video, leave a comment on there telling me what you want to see more of on my channel and that you're entering the giveaway. The final page I worked on this week is one where you print using a vegetable and an ink pad. So what I did is I took a red pepper, a red bell pepper that was from dinner. We were making tacos with fajita style red peppers. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the dinner and show you guys how yummy it looked, but I assure you that it was so delicious. I did a couple different stamping methods. Of course, I used an ink pad for one, and then on the other one, I just used acrylic paint and brushed it on just like that inner starry shape, and I pressed it on the page. Not much to explain here. I also took a normal stamp because I thought they looked kind of like flowers, so I took a flower stamp that I've had for so long and I pushed that on. The design did not come out completely, but I just filled in the lines with marker afterward and fixed it. Then I decided to relax and not do this part on camera. I colored in the flower stamp with Prismacolored pencils and I also drew a rose. And this is my very first time actually drawing a semi-realistic rose. It took me a long time. It probably took me an hour and a half to draw this and it doesn't even look that amazing. I'm just happy you can tell it's a flower. That was my goal. This page is nowhere near done yet because like I said, it did take a while to draw that. I'll probably cover the page with more flowers over the next few weeks or months whenever I feel like working on it, I'll just go back to this and add more flowers in. Also, to get the highlights on the rose, I used a white gel pen just in case any of you guys were wondering. My next breakfast journal video will be coming up in the next week or so, and I'll be doing probably three to five pages or parts of those. And if I add to anything that I've already done in the past, then I'll show you those things as well. Let me know in the comment section below which page that I did in this video was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions, comments, anything at all that you want to tell me, let me know below. The pages still smell like vanilla from the scented markers, and it is lovely. I'm a book snuffer. All my social media links are in the description box below. They'll keep you updated every time I have a giveaway or just whatever I'm doing in my life. If you want to know about that, you know, you can go chat with me. If you want to just say, hey, I like to tweet people and reply to people on Instagram, that's a lot of fun. Next video is coming up on Friday. I hope to see you guys back here on my channel then and have a great rest of the day. Bye.